Rob, what is our first main topic today? Well, John, our first main topic comes from Reed Foreman. Hello, John and crew. Hope you're all having a great day. I wanted to know if you heard the news that Rob Zombie was developing a new movie based on the Munsters. I think this is a very interesting choice for the project and could lead to many different directions the film could ultimately take. Zombie is a huge fan of the show, and I'm eager to see what his take will be. What are your thoughts? Well, Joe Blow says, We've got another incarnation of the Munsters coming on the way, as Rob Zombie has revealed that his next film will be a reboot of the classic series. Zombie's been a huge fan of the Munsters for years, and there have been rumors that he would be directing a new take on the franchise for quite some time. But now, it's finally official. Jeez, uh, <laughs> you know, Rob Zombie's always been sort of hit and miss with me, and uh, I haven't seen, I mean, his take based on his previous work, whether it's Halloween, whether it's, you know, the the, the Captain Spaulding and, and the, the crew from those films, I, I, I think his monsters, I, I can't imagine it's going to be anything like we would have seen before. <laughs> I imagine them to be like a horribly murderous clan that just dispatches with people in the worst ways, but that wouldn't really be the monsters, would it? <laughs> so look again, uh, I think it's interesting that a creator like Rob Zombie would take on the monsters. I think the potential there, it's either going to be really great or it's going to be a major misfire. That's kind of what I, what I think about it. What, what are your thoughts? <laughs> I, I wish I could muster any enthusiasm for this, but I just can't. I, I, I honestly, I just can't in almost any way, shape or form get excited about this because number one, I, I don't care. I'll be honest. I don't care that much about the monsters. You know, I was a little bit more, I mean, a lot of these shows are before my time anyway. I watched the reruns of these, but I was more an Adams Family guy than I was a Munsters. Although the Munsters were okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not crapping on the Munsters, but it's just, it, it wasn't my, my, my favorite thing of all time. But to be honest, while I love his music, I really can't stand Rob Zobby as a director. I mean, he recently did uh, Three from Hell, which I didn't think was very good. Now he did that movie Thirty One, but honestly, yeah. I I never saw it. I that's one I never saw. I I never saw Thirty One. It didn't interest me, and I never got around to watching that. He did this one called Lords of Salem, which actually wasn't that bad. I, I think Lords of Salem might be my favorite Rob Zombie movie that he did, and that's not saying much because I certainly didn't love it, but it wasn't bad. And then you've got a bunch. Well, then you've got his Halloween movies. I don't even want to discuss those. I mean, I thought those were absolutely terrible. Now, then you got his kind of two main marquee ones, right? Rob, you've got the two, you've got House of a Thousand Corpses and you've got uh, uh, Devil's Rejects. Those are the ones that most people who are fans of Rob Zombie stuff, they will think of these two movies, right? And Three from Hell because they're all part of the Right, and that, which we mentioned a little bit earlier. Yeah. I'll, like, I'll be honest with you. I didn't think those, the, they just didn't work for me. I, I didn't think they were very good either. So honestly, I thought Lords of Salem wasn't too bad, but that's one out of six or, or one out of five. I, And so I'm just not on board. So the concept of him doing a Munsters movie, well, I mean, this is as predictable as the sun rising, right? Obviously, we know what he's going to do with it. This is not going to be the monsters that people know and love for those that love them. And that's okay. I don't mind a, a filmmaker taking a different spin on some recognizable IP. That can be cool. I just don't have trust that what his spin is going to be is going to end up being very good. Now, again, you never know, right? He's been doing this a lot of years. You pick up things over the years and maybe you get better and he picks up some new tricks and maybe this monsters thing will be amazing to me. But Rob, I got to be honest right now. I look at it and I think really Rob zombie doing the monsters, but John, he's a big fan of the monsters. That doesn't mean shit. Like I hate to break it to people, but that really doesn't mean anything at all. So I, I, yeah, Rob, I just gotta be honest. I look at this. I, I don't have a lot of hope of this and I certainly don't have any, uh, any interest. Do you think Rob, that, that something like this, that Rob zombie doing the monsters can get the attention and excitement of a significant portion of the movie going audience that aren't already Rob zombie fans? 
Probably not. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I look if it's really well cast and it's it's really well done. I mean, we've seen reboots of the Adams Family. We had Mockingbird Lane that Brian Singer directed, that Brian Fuller produced. And I always think I can't help but whenever I think of the Munsters, which I loved growing up, I think of both the Munsters and the Adams Family, and I. I, it, it's a very specific kind of a thing for me. And I just don't, I can't envision Rob Zombie's version of it. And maybe that's because I, my imagination is limited, but I, I, I knowing his sensibility, I think he's going to change it significantly, but maybe not, you know, maybe I didn't think Guy Ritchie directing Aladdin was like, I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. And that turned out pretty well. So I, I, at first, Give me a healthy dose of skepticism, but um, upon reflection, I, I I would wait and see what happens before I poo-poo the efforts of Mr. Zombie for getting this off the ground. Question is for you guys. What do you think about the idea of Rob Zombie doing a Monsters movie? Maybe you love the Monsters and Rob Zombie. Maybe you don't care about the Monsters or Rob Zombie. Maybe it's a mix of the two. Wherever you guys are at, jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys. 